Hi guys, uh, Thomas here. Hope you guys have a good day. We're going to uh, talk a, another um, tr another trip, <laughs> a trip video. But this one inv involves um, Barry, myself, and my nephew, um, Charles Williams. Um, and um, I'm going to post a picture uh, on my blog um, from um, when we were in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. So check out my blog. Um, you work in john.blog.com um, and you'll see the, the picture of me and Charles Williams and, and then uh, Barry as well. When, when we were much younger <laughs> and about maybe <laughs> about maybe 150, 200 pounds lighter. <laughs> I'm going I'm to put it out there. We were about uh, maybe 20, 28, 29 years old. Anyway, <clears throat> so this, um, I had uh, always wanted to go to Ocean City, and um, Barry's never been to Ocean City, and Charlie, he's been to Ocean City before, he's been to a couple places, uh, but he's, but uh, I asked him, uh, I said, well, let's go to Ocean City one day, he said, okay, yeah, that's a good idea, so, uh, so I said, Charlie, okay, well, why don't we do this, so we, we made arrangements, it was, it was my call, I, so I had to, I don't know, I think I got the, got the, um, Got the arrangements for the hotel room. The hotel um, was on the uh, 32nd Street in um, Ocean City. It was called the Stardust. <laughs> Great name, the Stardust. <laughs> Nothing can't go wrong there, right? <laughs> right. And then, um, and then I also um, got a rental car. Uh, this was a bad, bad mamma jamma. It was a 1989 uh, Marquise. Uh, it, was, it, was like the, it was like the bigger version of the Ford LTD, the Marquis. And that car could roll. <laughs> it could roll. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, a few a, a few weeks before then, you know, he was working, Charles was working, he's working construction, I was working uh, as a bus driver uh, in Montgomery County, and Barry, he was kind of in between jobs, so, you know, he said, I don't know how to get the money, but I gotta make it. So, he started working at a temporary agency. And he said, man, I mean, those, those last two weeks, man, they were rough. He said <laughs> they would get up in the morning, about 6 o'clock in the morning, and they would all pick up, get in a pickup truck, <clears throat> and they would go to some part of Anne Arundel County, <clears throat> and they would trudge all the way down into the sticks, into the bushes, and they would do some site surveying. <clears throat> he said it was, it was hard work. He was getting down there, and he, <clears throat> he said, man, it was rough. And he said, you know, when I come home at night, I, I'll be picking uh, mosquitoes, not mosquitoes, uh, uh, ticks off me because <laughs> it was so hard. It was hot out there, but I got the money. <laughs> and I said, wow, I, I, all I can tell you is, man, I, I really appreciate what you did. He said, yeah, yeah, but, you know, I had to do what I had to do, and, um, and I appreciated that. And he said, um, you know, I, I got to I gotta do something else. This is not really helping me. And that's when he changed his line of work to work in security at Social Security, which led to his um, going into law enforcement. So that trip was kind of like the impetus to him for his career uh, in law enforcement. So this was a, this was a, uh, a land marking um, transition for him. Um, myself. Uh, I I was appreciative and, and we worked hard and I you know I, we went uh, about the third week of July and uh, the so the the trip began Charlie came over to my house and uh, we slept and the the plan the plan was to, to go to Ocean City on Friday uh, Friday morning no Saturday morning Saturday morning uh, Saturday morning. Uh, but because it was summertime Ocean City, it, trying to get to Ocean City uh, on a Saturday, on any Saturday in the summertime, is is kind of like, if you think you're going to get there in, in two hours, <laughs> you better add five more hours to that because they had lots of traffic jams, slow traffic, people getting impatient, they, and they have the Bay Bridge, and the Bay Bridge can, can be a, a big problem, and then there's the, the, another problem. Kent Narrows Bridge, which they corrected in the later years. 
So, you know, you're talking about uh, a five hour trip in the summertime and it's hot and that kind of thing. So we, we decided, okay, all right, let's, let's, let's go over there. And we'll get there about, uh, we're gonna leave uh, Baltimore about 2.30. So we got it at 2.30 in the morning, so I got truck Charlie up, we packed the, packed the truck, I mean, packed the car up, and we were good, and we were like, okay, let's go. So I was, <clears throat> I was, I was ready to go, Charlie was my, was in shotgun, and <clears throat> we drove over to Barry's house, he was living in Woodlawn, so I um, had to knock on the door, <sighs> and I, because I, I told him, I said, we're going to be here at uh, between 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, okay. I said, okay, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, okay. So we had to knock on the door. Five minutes, 10 minutes. That, that joker, <laughs> 15 minutes later, what's up? <laughs> what are you talking about, what's up? We're supposed to be leaving, man. You told me, that, and I told you that we were going to leave at 3 30, 2.30. Oh, man, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to slip out my eyes, that kind of thing. Didn't want to wake up his mother at the time his mother was, was slipping, and... Uh, and so maybe a half hour later he got his stuff came down there okay all right so he's packed up in the car charlie's in the back now he's my shotgun i'm driving to ocean city okay all right we floating this car <laughs> three <laughs> we floating this, this car so uh, so you talk about it, it takes about four hours to get there. So we were floating this car. <laughs> what I mean by floating is that we were we were rolling, okay, 70, 75, 80 miles an hour. <laughs> so we were um, we were kind of like in the eastern shore of Maryland, and we ran into a, a thunderstorm, and you know, the lights were going on, you know, the flash of the light, all that kind of stuff. It was really intense, and I'm I'm bawling. <laughs> State police, what's that? <laughs> so I'm, I'm going, the music's going, you know, we having a good time. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm bawling my behind off. Charlie's in the back seat. I got my shotgun right here, Barry. So we, we, we good. <clears throat> so then about 6 o'clock in the morning, I started getting a little tired. <clears throat> I, said, oh, I said, you want to take over? <clears throat> we're about maybe like, maybe like 20 minutes out of Ocean City because I've been driving all night long. I said, okay. I said, Barry, you want to drive? I said, no, no, keep on. You got it. You got it. So then I said, okay. So I drove a little bit more and said, okay. So then I started to get tired. So let's pull over and get some, some, some to drink, some to eat. So I was driving. He said, then he said, hey, 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 hey man. Hey, hey. Go get some gas. <laughs> so I had to go get some gas. And stuff. So he started driving off. Um, and then we were going by the 7 Eleven and he seen this cute girl. <laughs> Uh, she had long hair and uh, olive-looking skin. And, uh, she, okay, he says he was a girl. Okay, okay. I said, he said, go over there, go over there. I want to, I want to see that girl. I want to see the girl. Come on, come on, man. We almost over the city. Said, come on, man. I'm gonna see this chick. All right, you my boy. Okay. <laughs> so I was in the. I was, uh, got my my second win. I said, okay, I'm, I'm doing this for you. Okay. So turn in there. Get in there, Seven Eleven. The girl turned out to be a guy. I'm like, what the freak? <laughs> I went, are you asleep? What the heck is going on with you? Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm, I must be tired. I don't know. But from the back, it looked like it was a girl. That's not a girl, man. That's a dude. <laughs> I know, man. I know. I know. I know. I shouldn't have messed up. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Are you good? Okay. Yeah, I'm good. So. Get back in the car, we take off to Ocean City, we finally get there, so I didn't know where to park it, because our room's not going to be ready for a couple hours, so we got there like about 9 o'clock, so I said, okay, let's go to the convention center, because there was a, they had a CQ there, because I was a member of, of CQ, CQ stands for State Employees Credit Union, which I was a member at one time, and I said, well, I'm going to go get some uh, some cash, some ready cash, and then uh, we just chill there, so as soon as I get out of the car, uh, Early morning, and who you're talking about? I got mosquitoes all over me. Mosquitoes came from everywhere. One thing in Ocean City and, and the Eastern Shore is that they have a, a, a really bad mosquito problem. And I used to work for mosquito control at the time. I worked for mosquito control, and I got literally attacked 
Within two seconds of leaving out that car, the mosquitoes were on me and were trying to feast on me. I was like, oh my God, I was like this. I was like, oh my God. So, you know, I, I, so I, I did the best I could. They got my money. I hurry up, got back in there, make sure there weren't no stragglers in there because it was, I'm going to kill them. Uh, so, got that taken care of. So, uh, we drove to, uh, we went to, um, McDonald's and had breakfast and we drove around Ocean City for a few minutes and then we um, went to the Stardust and uh, we got a, um, we, we got in got unpacked out room number 301 and it had a balcony this is a bad spot you could overlook Ocean City and there, there was a, uh, a, a a liquor store that you can go to <laughs> The liquor store is called Anthony's. It's still in it's still in business, and I and I have been there uh, every time I go to Ocean City. I always go to Anthony's because it's it, I I was going there since the eighties, uh, and this is when the story happened. So I would go to Anthony's and get my liquid beverages and things like that. And, and so uh, so that's where we get our our beverages. So <clears throat> so um, so um, so. During the course of this of this of this week, when we got there, and, and so uh, we put our bags down, and uh, we went to Anthony's, and then we went to Food Lion. It's Food Lion, a little further up, uh, Coastal Highway, and we got this watermelon. Now, the purpose of the watermelon is when I was in college, um, we would we had a, a <laughs> we had a drunken watermelon uh some of the guys got together and they um on my floor and we got a, a a watermelon from the dining hall called the dining hole and we poured a whole bunch of grain alcohol in in there <laughs> chilled it for in, in somebody's room for about you know, about maybe like a, about half the day got the watermelon out and everybody in on the floor shared in it <laughs> in the watermelon and we were all toasted it does work i haven't done it since uh, maybe i have done it once since, since since we did this but we were all toasted i mean we were you can stick a fork in us because we were done so we got the we got the, the watermelon food line and I, and we went to anthony's and got some beer liquor and we got the grain alcohol and Brian, he heard the story with the with this. He said, man i gotta try this i said it's okay no problem we gonna be in the city that's, that's fine so so I do have a picture of us eating the watermelon. <laughs> uh, so you gotta check out the blog. The blog has got the pictures. Like I got the evidence. So we got the, the watermelon and we put, cut a little hole, uh, like about like about that size, like about a quarter size. Put it in there. Uh, pour the um, the grain alcohol in there. Shake it up a little bit. Put the cap back on it. So and just leave it in there for a number of hours until it gets cold so we went out and did our thing we went to ocean city we laughed chilled that kind of thing so and then we did our drink that kind of thing and it came back to you know went to the beach went down to the boardwalks and came back and it was like about maybe like 4 35 o'clock in the afternoon and you know it was out there it was hot and that kind of thing so we were like okay well, let's get some. Let's get some of that watermelon. Cause we were like, okay, no problem. Okay, so we got the watermelon. Then like I said, check out the blog, and you see us eating the watermelon. Okay, okay. I guess like it was a combination of drunk, tired. I don't know. That watermelon, the green just went bam, bam, bam. He took us out like like. What man was like Negan? <laughs> oh, I don't want to bring that up, but we were out. It was me and Barry. We were we were done. My nephew on the other side, he 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 didn't want any. He said, "I know it's going to lead to that." So he got other plans. Okay, so so we we were we were drunk. We were <laughs> we were sleepy. We were done. So my nephew, <laughs> he took the keys to the car, to the marquee, and he went out clubbing that night. He went to this place, he went to that place, that place, and I'm dead to the world, and Barry's dead to the world. He's out there having a ball with the car. 
So, next morning, I wake up. And, and Charlie says, oh, you guys finally wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I went out with the car last night. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, I did this, this, this. I couldn't get mad at him. <laughs> I would have did the same thing. Maybe, maybe not. But he went out, and at least he had a good time. We had a good time. And, you know, we met some, some chicky poos, some girls, and uh, they were from uh, Pennsylvania. No, New Jersey. They're from New Jersey. Met them. Um, Barry got the number of a couple of girls. I didn't want to give anybody's number because, you know, I'm, just, I'm not doing that right now. Um, he kept in contact with the girl. I, you know, I never knew. Uh, you know, he kept in contact for, for, for a minute. Um, but anyway. We we had a good time, <laughs> and then coming back um, from Ocean City, uh, Barry was driving, and uh, he was racing a Corvette, <laughs> and uh, that was fun too. Uh, he was going, uh, I think, about 110 miles an hour on Route 50, heading to the Bay Bridge. Um, I don't know why he was decided to do that, but he's my boy. I'm gonna let him do it. And uh, we had a good time, and uh, it was it was good. We went we went back to OC the next following year, um, not as lively. We did meet uh, some other people there. We did chill uh, at uh, at Ocean City, but that was the the last time that you know all three of us had been there to, together. Uh, like I said that was in that was in probably 1990. And uh, <clears throat> fast forward. Uh, I would say maybe 14 years, um, me and Barry and uh, his wife and my wife, we went to Ocean City. He said he wanted to go to Ocean City for um, for New Year's Eve. I, and I said, okay. You know, uh, we drove down to Ocean City New Year's Eve, uh, watched the Ravens lose <laughs> to uh, another team in 2001, but, the, but uh, New Year's. And we had a good time there. We, we ate, we fellowshiped, uh, we had a good time. He drunk, I drunk, and we had a, we celebrated New Year's, and it was, it was a great, it was great, you know. Uh, it wasn't as wild, there was no watermelon around, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh, uh, we went, uh, we did some shopping. Uh, we went to some of the outlets in Ocean City, and we, we had a good time. And uh, uh, we talked about going back to Ocean City again. Um, uh, early last year, um, just didn't know how we were going to coordinate that. He had some uh, friends who was living in Cambridge, Maryland, which is on the eastern shore. He was telling me about the, the crabs and that kind of thing. We were talking about just going in to chill, but <laughs> that never came to pass. But um, that was um, two uh, two stories, uh, two trips that we, we had, uh, and we had a good time. And uh, anyway. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to share these these, these uh, stories, and I really enjoyed them. And uh, if you guys ever go to Ocean City, Ocean City is a nice place to visit. You know, uh, year round, uh, there's stuff to do. Uh, uh, not gonna be an advocate, but they're not paying me. But it's a nice place to chill and and build up. You can also drive up to Rehoboth Beach. Uh, then you can also go up to uh, it's called uh, Dover, Delaware. They have casinos there also. So, you know, they're good places to eat. Um, I'm not sure about costs because costs are shot up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a great day and, um, you know, take care and have a good week. And I'll, and I'll um, let you guys I'll have another one. talk next week. Uh, if you guys have any comments uh, please share them um, up here there's going to be a video right here of my past videos and then please subscribe if you can go to my my youtube uh, and then check out my blog you gotta see the blog and then check out my um, affiliate marketing also thank you very much for your support keep me alive thank you you guys have a great week god bless dilly dilly i'm out